It feels great to be all together for this amazing opening ceremony yesterday night. And as you can see, we are quite fan of all your flags. Talking about yesterday night, we are really happy to welcome today Nicola, the, the animator you all recognize. But first, we will meet Peter, our special reporter, to know more about this event. A big French banquet, crazy frogs on the stage, dancers and the magician. But also a very good snail competition. Yes, and a big bravo to the purple one. <laughs> um, yesterday night was quite crazy. Uh, let's meet Peter to have his feedbacks. Hello Peter. Peux-tu nous en dire plus sur cette cérémonie d'ouverture Comment toutes les activités se sont-elles passées L'ouverture du rassemblement s'est faite en deux phases. Il y a eu une première phase où, derrière la caméra, il y a eu différents banquets où les rovers ont été servir une sorte de buffet français. Pendant ce temps, derrière moi, il y a eu un cabaret, un moulin rouge avec des courses d'escargots et tout un tas d'attractions différentes. Deuxième partie, il y a eu une véritable, on pourrait dire, euh, cérémonie d'ouverture avec des discours officiels, notamment d'un représentant de l'ONU, mais également l'ouverture du rassemblement avec les différents euh, contingents, les différents pays. Comment sont répartis les rovers sur le, sur le camp central Alors, les participants sont répartis dans huit districts tout autour du parc de Jeanville. Euh, ils sont environ 500 par district et si jamais ils ont besoin de savoir où se trouvent les villages, ils peuvent consulter derrière leur passe. Il y a une carte de Jeanville. Thank you very much, Peter. And now, let's welcome Nicolas, the man who animated all the yesterday show. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Nicolas. Could you tell us uh, the story of this wonderful evening? Yes, well, uh, we teamed up with five, pe five people uh, a few months back and we decided for this night to make something very French. So, of course, at once the idea of a cabaret come, came up, a very Parisian night uh, that is well, well known. Um, and also we wanted to um, put some light on the French culture and welcome all, of course, our rovers and rangers, um, and also European unity. So that's why we split the show in two parts, mm -hmm. one with the cabaret for the Parisian touch, and the other one with uh, the other elements. Um, it took a lot of work, but we had amazing support from our scenery and uh, costumes team that did a great job with all the scenery and, of course, our costumes. And also we had a lot of inputs from the technical team that um, gave us suggestions on how to organize the show and what, what was possible. Great. And do you have one anecdote you remember? Uh, well, yes. One week before the walk away, uh, the team that was supposed to dance the French Can Can um, dropped us. So basically, we had another team that was supposed to help in the scenery and costume team. And just a week before, we just told them, okay, finally, you're going to dance. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, are you and the team happy after the performance of yesterday? Yes, we are very happy. We, we enjoyed a lot the show. Um, that was the main point for all of us to enjoy it, all our yes. participants. Um, that was a big, a big stake for the cabaret part especially, that was to bring people closer. Mm -hmm. So we did a, a lot of organization to communicate on this and the IC teams did a very good job at bringing people. So we had a lot of people for the cabaret, that was really great. Great. Thank you very much, uh, Nicola, for your time. Or could I say Mr. Loyal? This is the end of this Robin News show. Um, we wish you a lovely week on the subject.